In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. On another occasion, Jesus began to teach by the sea. A very large crowd gathered around him, so that he got into a boat on the sea and sat down. And the whole crowd was beside the sea on land, and he taught them at length in parables. And in the course of his instruction he said to them, Hear this, a sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Other seed fell on rocky ground, where it, was, where it had little soil. It sprang up at once, because the soil was not deep. And when the sun rose, it was scorched, and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it produced no grain. And some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit. It came up and grew and yielded thirty, sixty, and a hundredfold. He added, Whoever has ears to hear ought to hear. And when he was alone, those present along with the twelve questioned him about the parables. He answered them, The mystery of the kingdom of God has been granted to you, but to those outside everything comes in parables, so that they may look and see but do not perceive, and hear and listen but, do, but not understand, in order that they may not be converted and be forgiven. Jesus said to them, Do you not understand this parable? Then how will you understand any of the parables? The sower sows the word. These are the ones on the path. These are the ones on the path where the word is sown. As soon as they hear, Satan comes at once and takes away the word sown in them. And these are the ones sown on rocky ground, who, when they hear the word, receive it at once with joy. But they have no roots; they last only for a time. Then, when tribulation and persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. Those sown among thorns are another sort. They are the people who hear the word, but worldly anxiety, the lure of riches, and the craving for other things intrude and choke the word, and it bears no fruit. But those sown on rich soil are the ones who hear the word and accept it, and bear fruit thirty and sixty and a hundredfold. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus explains in parables this, uh, the sower, the seed, and the soil. So he explains the, 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 the meaning of the parable. So we, first of all, he speaks in parable because parable forces us to think, forces us to enter into to the, the words, the image, the story. And, and it brings about a richer, a deeper, more profound meaning um, and, 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 and clarity as well. So here he speaks about the, the, maybe the four different types of soil, which refers to the four different types of responses to his word. Jesus is the word. He comes and preaches and proclaims the kingdom of God. And then, then there are four, four types of uh, responses. So they, these could be four types of people, or it could be us through different stages in our life. So the first one is the path. So the, it falls on the path, the seed falls on the path, that, that, because because there's no soil, it cannot grow. The birds come, Satan comes, and, and, and snaps away the word right away. So these are people who are not receptive. They're not interested in the word. Sometimes when I'm preaching at, uh, or celebrating Mass and I'm looking out at the congregation, I can see some people are not interested. They're not receptive. They're not even present. They have tuned out. They've zoned out. I, I could tell. And, and, so, and so the word, the seed has no room to grow, right? And so, um, so many of us um, can, maybe have, have, have been at that stage at one point or another. Another one is the, uh, the rocky ground. So this is a very thin layer of soil. So the, the seed will grow at once, but, but because it bears no roots, then it withers away when the sun comes. So these are people who are fearful. Right? People are afraid. So they, re they receive the word with joy, but then fear and tribulation and trials come and they fall away. So I see a lot of this happening in our world today, right? With COVID-19, the elections, the politics, the suffering, whatever, people fall away. They lose their faith right away because they have no roots. Their faith is not deep. Um, and so we see a lot of that. Maybe sometimes we go, we fall into that, 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 um, that stage ourselves, that uh, so much suffering, we're, we're afraid to suffer, and we fall away. 
And the third one is uh, worldly anxieties, fall, those who fall, the seeds who fall among the thorns, right? So they receive the, the, the word, they start to grow, but then worldly anxieties, uh, secularism, uh, the daily cares, all these things starts to come in and they choke the word and it bears no fruit. So this is also a temptation. This also happens in our world too. We have to make a conscious effort to not fall into the ways of the world to not be tempted by the things of the world uh, in order for our spiritual life to grow. And then the last response or the last soil is the rich soil that bears much fruit. Those who are open, receptive, they, they receive the word, they meditate on the word, they, they implement it in their life so that it grows and bear much fruit. So let us examine ourselves. You know, I may be at one period or another. We've, we've been all these four soils. So let us not... Um, you know, let us be receptive. Let us not uh, worry about suffering because that's part of life. And the third is let us not be attached to the things of the world. So we that be that rich soil and bear much fruit. We give you thanks, loving Jesus, for telling us this parable, the sower, the seed, and the soil. Help us to be that rich soil. Help us to eliminate the obstacles so that you may bear much fruit in us. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.